the Kennedy Proposal 2010 under a bridge to Boise State University April 5th Dear Bronco Thank you for reading my letter. I am visiting your community today to discuss President Kushner's call for BCS reform and a comprehensive analysis of the Kennedy Proposals Abstract. January 8, 2010, President Kushner announced that he would like to see reform of the BCS because the system is unfair in its access, governance, and revenue distribution. Since that time, the United States Justice Department has announced they may be studying the benefits, cost, and feasibility of the playoff system. Senator Baucus, a Democrat from Montana, joined the bipartisan effort, and AFCA has announced the coaches continue to support the BCS. The governance, which now includes a presidential member from each conference, has launched a Twitter account, Facebook page, and created a playoff problem website. Executive Director Bill Hancock is employed as the public face of the organization. Despite the BCS is the greatest thing ever created in propaganda, the following statement from Hancock is fact and truth. There really is no consensus among hypothetical playoff advocates. We, as playoff advocates, have yet to decide which playoff should be implemented. I drafted my proposal last year and continue to develop a strength in order to gain what is truly needed, support. The comprehensive analysis of the Kennedy proposal is to gauge how much information the reader can obtain and explain on a single piece of paper without reading the full length 42 page proposal. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and encouraging the Bronco community to get involved in the multi-game playoff debate by reading, tweeting, retweeting, Facebooking, etc. At the 2010 BCS meetings, Executive Director Hancock said they are planning for the BCS to be in place until 2040. Will the student athletes, students, and fans and other interested parties unite to afford a multi-game playoff? Or will we continue with this unjustifiable system? The Kennedy proposal is a 10-team, 13-game double elimination tournament. All many playoff games will be played at the highest remaining seed. Four teams, matching seeds 7 vs 10 and 8 vs 9, will compete on the second Saturday in December. The winners will continue and advance in an 8-team model. The eight teams that do not advance to the national championship will compete in traditional BCS Bowls. The first of five BCS Bowl matchups will occur on New Year's Day and conclude in the second week of January with the BCS National Championship game. The non-BCS Bowls will continue in their present form.